I was really hoping to get in like a quick 9 or 18 today. I'm so glad you're free. Thanks for coming <laughs> along. This is your Happy second here. season yeah. out here on tour. What's it been like for you so far? Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I definitely got quite a few friends out here this year, so that's made it a lot more enjoyable. Um, and then, uh, you know, I didn't really start playing a full schedule until after Kingsmill of last year, so it's been pretty similar for most of this year in that I'm seeing courses for the first time, uh -huh. having to study pretty hard in the practice rounds, um, but just having a lot more fun with it, making sure I'm resting more, I'm not doing too many 18-hole stuff, yeah. so it's, it's been good. Yeah, what's that like? It's got to be such a learning process, trying to kind of like take all of it in. How long does it kind of take you, you think, to kind of get familiar with the course and kind of mm -hmm, get used to it? Mm -hmm. um, do you know, to be honest, what I've learned is if you, you know, a lot of people, it depends on what you like. For me, I don't like 18 whole rounds because uh -huh. I feel like tournament rounds are long enough. Yeah. <laughs> the practice rounds are even longer than the tournament. Yeah. So, um, you know, what I've tried to do this year is just kind of split it into nine and nine and take your time and yeah. study and then you're done. Yeah. You, you got it down packed and, you know, it really shouldn't take more than that to figure out where you should and shouldn't be on the course. <laughs> you're already out here, so you're doing something yeah. right, so let's not overthink it, yeah. right? Yeah. You talked about making a lot more friends out here. Who do you kind of like to hang out with when you're away from the course? Mm -hmm. um, well, I think it's less, it's more so the friends that I've had from junior golf and college oh, okay. that are out here with me now. Um, and so, uh, like, let's say in Hawaii, I had a house that was Caroline English, Lauren Kim, uh, Gemma, a driver, and, and Lauren Coghlan. Oh, awesome. So we all kind of had a place together. That was fun. Um, and I like all of them a lot. Um, oh. And then some people I guess I've become friends with out here. Oh, also there's Allison out here that I've known. There's Emma out here this year too. I love Emma so much. Um, and so those are, you know, kind of like my buddies. And then people that I've become friends with is Mo, who you sent me. She did, she did this recently yeah, too, yeah. I guess. Um, and then I've got, you know, Vicki Hurst and, you know, just quite a few people that I, you know, just really feel, you know, you like. And, they're good company. Yeah. They're good to be around. Yeah. It's so cool because like recently at, you know, the event in San Francisco, they were talking about how all these girls had gone head to head with each other in the U.S. Girls Junior. Mm -hmm. And now here they were again all competing right, at the like same said, course. Yeah. That's got to be so weird. Like you said, you've known these girls like pretty much your whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's, I think it's cool because you know, I think junior golf is a lot different than, than uh, professional golf mm -hmm. in that. You know, it's it's still really competitive, but there's definitely much more. Let's make friends, mm -hmm. and you know, it's you know, your career is not riding on it at that point. Right. So I think you develop a special kind of friendship mm -hmm. in junior golf and, and college golf and amateur golf that that um, you know kind of shines throughout here. So I think it's different in that I notice that when I'm talking to Caroline or Emma or anybody, you know, I'm looking at them and I see them play well. It's like I go up to them and say, "Hey, great round." Oh, if nice. I play well, like. Uh, Caroline came up to me had a good week last week. Great going. You know, she had a top ten a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. So I texted her and said, "Great." So I think that we have that support that's yeah. not rooted in com com competitiveness against one another. It's just kind of support because yeah. we actually genuinely like each other's people because we got to know each other <laughs> right, right. before we were at this stage. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know? before you were at this stage, you played at Stanford as well. What was that experience mm -hmm. like? Um, and college golf was just awesome. Um, you know, just playing as a team and and having your numbers kind of mean more than just what they mean for yourself, yeah. you know? So it's like, sure, you want to play well for yourself. When it's not going well, you also want to limit those bogeys because the team score is adding up as, as you're adding up too. Yeah. And then you get to nationals and they change it to match play format, which just makes it so much fun. Yeah. Um, and so it's just, you just have a good time. It's just fun. Do you have a highlight from your Stanford years? Anything that <laughs> jumps out at you that you'd want to share from those college days? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see, you just mean kind of just like fun memories? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we do a lot of stuff. Um, so at the beginning of the, every year, we do kind of like a team bonding activity. Okay. So there's no golf involved in uh -huh. the team bonding activity. So it was one year we went um, whitewater rafting as oh, a team. Fun. Yeah. Oh, fun. Oh, cool. But I can't swim. Uh, did you fly out or were you still, did you stay in the boat? No, I did. I okay, did. Okay. I mean, I, you know, no fear, no fear, just enjoy <laughs> it. But there was this one point where the, the tour guide stopped us and he said, this is a rock that people kind of like to jump off of and it was like 30 feet. Oh my god! And gosh. I have on my life jacket, but you know, if you can't swim, you don't want to trust no. your life jacket too much. But everybody was jumping off oh, and I was geez. just like, you know what? I have to participate in this. So I jumped off and I remember sinking in and falling under the water and obviously the life jacket was going to pull me yeah, up but yeah. in that moment I had so much regret. <laughs> what <laughs> in the world did, did you do this for? You're not going to float back up. You know, it's terrifying. <laughs> it ended up being a great time. Aww. But then we got a little past the rock area so I was glad I did that jump. Yeah. We got past the rock area and the part of it got a little like wavy and rocky 
And so when you, but there were pictures taken at this point. Uh -huh. And when you look at the pictures, everybody else is just kind of like, and I'm like, <laughs> no, and so that's me not being able to swim, actually terrified of what's going on and everybody else is pretty chill. So have I seen this right? You won almost a hundred events as a junior? Yeah, yeah, something that's like that. That's insane. Yeah. What, were the, what was the rest of the junior competition thinking when you would show up at these events? They must have been like, okay, I'm done, I'm going home. I, I don't know. I, um, yeah, I think for, you know, kind of like when I was playing junior golf, like GSGA Girls Junior, um, Atlanta Girls Junior, and Southeastern, I definitely had a pretty good track record record in those events. So, you know, I don't know, for me, it, you know, I was just going to play and have fun and try to win. So I don't, I don't know what it might have might have looked like to anybody else, but I was just having a good time. What did you do with all those trophies? So when anybody walks in the house, um, my mom's house, they, they're kind of spread out all over the place. So there's cases and then, plaques are kind of like on the walls, so people are like, wow, this is like a Mariah Shrine. It's like a museum to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. So they're kind of just stuck everywhere. Yeah. Now, I remember I had reached out to you last year when we started doing this about mm -hmm. doing this exact thing with cart cruising, and I had told you about carpool karaoke, and you were like, well, do I have to sing for this? And I was like, no, no, you don't have to sing, but you can if you want. No. Do you like to sing? Oh, I mean, I love, I love music. Okay. So obviously, you know, but I think it should stay between me, my car, and the shower. <laughs> it's, uh, it should stay right there. What's like your go-to? What do you like to like belt out when you're alone? Um, let's see. I love, I love all genres, but I love R&B. Okay. Uh, so 90s R&B, current R&B, anything like that. So uh, my favorite artist is definitely Rihanna. I oh, think nice. she's a fun artist, but I just also kind of love her as a businesswoman uh -huh. and entrepreneur too. Yep. So she's just my favorite. Yeah. And so if you put on any Rihanna album, I know every lyric to every song, and I can I can sing. What's your favorite? <laughs> Do you have a favorite? So my favorite album for her is definitely Anti, but which is my, her most recent okay. album. Probably Needed Me is my favorite okay. song off of that album. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Well, I'm excited that we got to finally do this. Yeah, and we didn't make it to any golf, but at least we got to chat. Yep. So yep. thanks for coming along, and here's my pistol. Let's right, go well, well, thank you. Thanks, Amy. Bye, guys. <laughs>